People ask this question of who am I all the time. Can you please help us to understand who are we and what is the human being made out of? So to understand um, who we are, uh, we have to uh, see the three aspect at uh, three aspects of ourselves. So one is the physical, which is the body, which you can actually perceive with your with your five senses. Uh, the second is what we call as mind, which has a couple of aspects within it. It has the mental aspect, and then it has the emotional aspect. And these are that is where the the parts of you start, which are uh, not completely visible to your um, five senses. And those aspects start within your energetic realm. So we call them the subtle bodies. Uh, and the third large part of who you are is the spirit. Uh, and the spirit contains within itself the astral realm or the astral bodies, uh, the uh, etheric realm, which is the etheric body where the energy is stored, and the last, uh, which is the causal or the karmic bodies, um, which is where all your karmic programs are stored. And all three aspects of you, the body, mind, and soul, uh, are equally important. So for example, if you look um, at an average person, most people are not even aware of the second and third, which is the emotional, mental, um, some people are aware of them. And then the third part, which is the spirit, most people are not aware of it because it's not perceived easily by your five senses. Uh, and most people you will see are focused within the physical realm only. So if you look at um, people, for example, that um, you know, are only concerned with their body and you know, working out or looking good or doing things for your material life, right? Um, taking care of anything that's physical. Um, they start to ignore the, the mental or the emotional or maybe even the energetic aspect. And as a result, we start to see disbalance within their physical life also. Um, or if you focus only on the psychology or if you focus only on the mental aspects um, or trying to heal only the emotional aspects, then you start to, again, um, you know, ignore the spiritual aspects or the energetic. But the, actually, if, you're in the, if you looked at the structure of who you are um, and the different layers within it, you would understand that what is in your physical life or your physical, um, within within what you can see with your five or sense with your five senses uh, is only a reflection, a small piece, a small um, projection of what exists within the energetic realm. So if you have a disbalance somewhere energetically, it will reflect within your physical life or within your material aspects. And that reflection happens um, not immediately. It happens over time and it progressively becomes bigger and bigger. So when we talk about who we are, um, we are a multidimensional being uh, that exists on more than one plane. Um, and it's kind of like saying that if you want to look at your physical aspect, you can't just say you're this arm or you're this leg, right? Or you're this face, you are the whole thing. It's the same with the energetic aspects.